So welcome back everyone, Mike and Hunter here today. It's Saturday morning and you know what day that is. It's about 10.30 and we are headed to Burger King. Isn't that right, Hunter? He's putting the pressure on me pretty hard here this morning. But I got a funny story to uh, share with you. This morning, I'm sitting here at my desk and I'm editing a video and I'm actually watching a Buck and Billy Ray video. I got him up here and I got my video here and all I'm doing is like dumping clips in to edit and uh, normally I have my headphones on, but I didn't this morning. So I've got Buckin playing over the speakers on the computer. And he's playing a harmonica. And Hunter, he's just kind of doing his thing. He likes when Buckin plays a harmonica. So Hunter's back and forth through the living room, putting stuff where it's supposed to be. And all of a sudden we hear Buck and Billy Ray say, Hunter Morgan, are you watching out there? Hunter Morgan. And Hunter, he's just like doing his thing and he just like stops. Like, what the heck's going on, right? And Hunter comes over to the computer and watched uh, Buck and play the harmonica some more. But that was hilarious. But uh, yeah, he wasn't expecting to hear that. So it's a pretty big day here. Hunter got a shout out from Buck and Billy Ray. Headed to Burger King. When we get home, I'm not even sure what all I'm going to get into. Uh, I need to do some mowing. I need to run the sawmill some. I need to split some wood. Actually, I don't need to do any of those things. I want to do all those things. Uh, but we'll go from there. So anyway, we'll see you in a bit. All right, we're pulling up to the drive through here. Big truck beside us. Hi, welcome back. You may. Chloe, how can I help you? Uh, give me one moment, please. Sure, take your time. Call me when you're ready. Spicy chicken. All right, Hunter got his uh, spicy chicken sandwich. We're on our way back to the house. We'll see what we get into. All right, Hunter and I got back from Burger King a little while ago. He really enjoyed his uh, spicy chicken sandwich. Now I'm going to do a little mowing with the walker mower. Uh, I've had several questions about this mower. Uh, one, people are asking, you know, the way this back end kind of sticks out a little bit, how it does like along fence lines, and when you turn, does that get in the way? So I'm going to try to get you some footage of that. And then people are asking also about the uh, deck as far as blade maintenance and cleaning under the deck and how easy that is, which it's really easy. I'll show you that here in a little bit as well. And then we're going to take a look at my uh, steel pressure washer as well. I had a little problem there. Uh, it was my fault, but something to definitely look out for if you own one. We'll go over that in a little bit as well. So let's fire up the walker, get a little mowing done. Then this evening, Melissa and I are probably going to go gather up some firewood when it gets a little bit colder. Not colder, cooler. Pretty warm here today. And uh, we'll gather some wood up, fire up the splitter, run the conveyor a little bit, and knock some wood out. This is a pretty good spot right here to show you how the back end of that walker mower comes around. I'll mow over in that corner there first, come this way towards the camera, and then turn 90 degrees.
getting a lot better at mowing that steep bank down there. Uh, I can hit it sideways on this walker and I'm only leaving about that much grass at the top. Maybe this fall what I'll do, I'll just knock that edge off with the tractor and I can probably get it all with the mower. But we're getting close. lucky to have a cool garage because other people said their garages are hot. So you're headed to uh, the neighbors swimming. Yeah, I was talking to someone just the other day and they're like, what do you want a pool for? Your neighbors have a pool. I'm like, yeah, it's just not the same. They're like, yeah, that'd be like, I only need a truck twice a year. So I'll just borrow the neighbor's truck. And then you're like, eh, I should buy my own truck. You know, I'm yeah. like, yeah, that's a very good comparison. Hunter gets in the back seat for some reason. Well, because he, uh, one, yeah, this is driving Mr. Hunter instead of driving Miss Daisy, but he likes to, and he was messing with the stick shift in the very beginning, like curious, and I'm like, no, 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 so. Yeah, well, uh, when you come back, before it gets dark, we'll go gather up some firewood if you want to. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I'll cool off now and get ready. All right, see you in a bit. All right, thanks. Now a while back I went over the controls on this walker mower uh, in case you missed it and it's a little bit different than uh, you know conventional zero turn mower so I'm going to go over them again real quick here. This is your PTO. This here controls your ground speed. Push this forward, you're moving forward. You can take your hand off it, it's like cruise control. Here all these are used for is steering. Now it's not like a regular zero turn, you know you're not doing this. Once you're moving forward, you want to turn left, just pull back on this a little bit. You want to turn right, just pull back on this a little bit. So I just keep my left hand on here and just kind of do stuff like this. That's all it takes. Now if you want to back up, pull them both back, same kind of thing. Uh, when I first ran this mower, uh, I mentioned it before, I was like, who in the heck came up with this idea? That was for the first five or ten minutes. And then I'm like, this is actually pretty sweet. And it works really well. And I like the deck out front. Uh, you can get really close to things. It's fast, 64 inch deck, 37 horsepower, fuel injected. It's a mowing beast. Now, as far as deck maintenance goes, you know, changing blades, cleaning under the deck, greasing, super, super easy on this. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, first thing you do, just flip these cables up out of the way, unlock the deck, just kind of push down on a little bit. I'll get the other side. Same thing over here, cable up, deck's loose. Now back here you have this switch that'll raise and lower the deck right here. Now for safety you have to push this button at the same time, so let's raise the deck up. You have this safety latch right here. Just flip that out, spin it around. Can't go anywhere. Now I'm just going to use a putty knife to get some of the heavy stuff off. Thank you. 
So I just got the uh, heavy stuff off. Some people now pressure wash under their decks and on top of the decks. Some people don't. You know, the thinking on that is that uh, you're kind of forcing water into the bearings and, you know, possibly have premature failure, which is probably a possibility. I'll let you decide that. Let me know in the comments if you think it's okay to pressure wash under your deck or if you do not. While I got this up, I'm going to grease. Uh, I got three grease fittings here. I'll hit them. The old lock and lube. Okay, to uh, lower the deck, you kind of do everything you did before, but in reverse. Safety latch. How did that go? Like this. Then you flip these back around, just kind of lift up on the deck. That's all there is to it. So I hope that answered everybody's questions on the uh, walker mower because I'm not going to have this much longer. Uh, I've mentioned before this is a demo unit from uh, Fletcher's Outdoor Power Equipment in Delmont, PA. If you have any questions about these mowers, you can call uh, Rob out there. Really good guy. That's what we're doing here. We're just kind of testing out mowers all summer. I've been using this one in a Toro 6000 series. There's something else I wanted to tell you. I can't think what it was. I don't know if it was a button. No, I know what it was. My steel pressure washer. Something to look out for. Probably on any pressure washer, really. So on this unit here, you know, your line in, it comes right here, which I love. Very easy to get to. Stick your hose through here. I also like the fact that your, uh, that your line out is right here. Very easy to get to. I for forget what kind I have, but I had a pressure washer once before. I mean, it was like down in here somewhere. You know, you had to like bend way down or get down on the ground to hook it up. But what I did the other day, I was using this and I was on the back side of it not paying attention. And see where that hose comes on? Well, that hose had wrapped up around here and I wasn't paying attention. Laid it right across the uh, muffler, burn a hole in the hose. I did. So be careful about that. Well, I think that's about it for today's video, but I just want to mention a couple things before we wrap this up. Number one, I can't thank you enough for all the support. We're getting 2 million views a month right now. That is unbelievable. And all the comments, the Facebook messages, the Instagram stuff, it's amazing. And all, well, I won't say all, 99.9%, .9 you know, nice, normal, sane people that enjoy the same type of lifestyle that we do. We love the outdoors. We like taking care of our property. We like doing things, and uh, it's just been a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. One thing I want to mention, though, if you're not a subscriber and you enjoy the videos, go ahead and click subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, but anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button. That does matter. Click subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks.